finishing with 12 grabs for over 100 yards and a score. Raiders running back Josh Jacobs got it done as well, going for over 100 total yards in the game. Las Vegas is now 2-0. Some injury news to pass along. NFL Network insider in Rappaport reports that Giants running back Saquon Barkley suffered a torn ACL and will be out for the rest of the season. Rap Sheet also reports that Panthers running back Christian McCaffrey will be out four to six weeks with a high ankle sprain. More injury news. 49ers pass rusher Nick Bosa is believed to have a torn ACL, according to head coach Kyle Shanahan, and Broncos wideout Cortland Sutton also suffered a torn ACL injury and will be out for the rest of the season. This has been NFL Network Now on the Westwood One Radio Network. Listening to this Allstate commercial about savings might be the hardest thing about getting those savings. Save for simply becoming an Allstate customer. Save more for adding DriveWise. And save even more for driving safely. Visit Allstate.com or contact your local agent for a quote today. Allstate. Minimum effort, maximum reward. Not available in every state. New customer savings based on early signing discount. Drive ice is an optional feature. Savings vary based on how you buy. Subject to terms and conditions. All state fire and casualty insurance company and affiliates. Northbrook, Illinois. Hey, NFL fans. Dak Prescott here. Want to spend Sunday afternoons with your favorite teams and players? Switch to DirecTV and get NFL Sunday ticket included at no extra cost. I'm talking every live out-of-market game every Sunday, no matter where you live. So switch to DirecTV to get the 2020 NFL Sunday ticket season included at no extra cost. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. Out-of-market games only. Requires choice package or Above. Minimum $74.99 a month before discounts. Prices higher in second year. Regional sports fee up to $9.99 a month applies. 24 month agreement, activation, other fees, terms, and restrictions apply. And let's see, uh, what is it? It, it is a, um, oh, it's a beautiful Tuesday. <laughs> Made it through Monday somehow, Gene. Yeah, well, you, you feel not, not very much uh, humidity this morning, so that's, uh, that's a good thing. That's, so well, it's I, not quite as bad as it was yesterday. No. So it's still there, but... You'll notice a difference if you go yes. outside. Oh, well, let's see. Um, today is a Tuesday, 22nd day of uh, September, the first day of fall. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're celebrating. In this area, that doesn't mean a lot, but uh, it is the first day of fall. Oh. Yes. Uh, no nip in the air, no frost on the pumpkin, uh, the leaves. Well, I actually, I do have some leaves uh, starting to fall at the house. So, No snow flurries? Not yet. So, But the way uh, the weather around. has been, it could happen. Stick around. Yes. It's uh, actually called the autumnal equinox. Gesundheit. Yeah, which is actually a fake holiday. Yeah, it, it was created to boost the sale of Knox's. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was right after widgets. Yes. And uh, it's the official start of fall. That's here in the northern hemisphere. In, in the southern hemisphere, it's the official start of spring, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, you probably remember... The two hemispheres are glued together at the equator. Glued, yes. Yeah. Uh, Although lately, the world has come a bit unglued. Yeah, apart. Yes. Uh, I bring uh, wishes of glad tidings to you from uh, an old, uh, well, an old friend, Joe Higginbottom. Joe Higginbottom. Still jo up in Oregon? Joe, no, Joe was evacuated. Joe lives in uh, Mill City, Oregon. Okay. And uh, the fire got the city. Oh, wow. Okay, so he, one of those cities that was completely destroyed then? Not totally, but yeah. It, it's, uh, and the city is only about 1,800 people, so it's not a big, uh, hmm. big community. And uh, Joe's granddaughter evacuated him, and he's here in the valley. What Can't wait to get God, home. Huh? But um, had a chance to visit with Joe. Joe will be 95 on Christmas Eve. Wow. Wow, 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 Joe. Yeah. And so, uh, he's still getting know, around pretty good? Getting around extremely well. And, uh, yeah, Joe at El Central Motors for years and years and years. At one point, service manager, but was the parts uh, department manager for... Uh, Oh, forever. 
And uh, some people know him as Red. Some people know him as Benny. Some people know him as Joe Higgy. Um, he's Uncle Joe to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought of Joe the other day when I was in San Diego and I was looking, uh, admiring uh, a Triumph motorcycle. Yes. <laughs> Joe, of course, blazed the way with a few others in uh, desert motorcycle riding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I remember uh, Joe's uh, Triumph. Yes. Oh, <laughs> straight pipe, and uh, that's one reason why you can't hear today. Yeah, just you got to hold on. Yes. Okay, uh, birthdays today. Are you ready? I'm ready. Singer, dancer, Tony Basil. Hey, Mickey, uh, 77. Actor Paul Lamott from uh, American Graffiti, 75. Singer David uh, Coverdale of Deep Purple, 69. Actor Sherry Belafonte, 66. Debbie Boone, 64. Actor Lynn Herring, 63. Joan Jett, 62. Chachi, Scott Baio, 60. Actress Catherine Oxenberg, 59. Actress Bonnie Hunt, 59. Actor Rob Stone, 58. Actor Dan Bukatinsky is 55. Actor James Hillier, 47. Actor Morella Enos is 45. Actor Daniela Alonso, 42. Actor Michael Raziel is 41. Actor Katie Lowe's, 38. Actor Tatiana Maslany is... Uh, 35, actor Ukweli Roach, 34, actor Tom Felton from the Harry Potter films, 33, and actor Teona Paris is 33. The coronavirus is affecting everyone. Must wear face coverings when out. Well, what do I do? What are you going to do? When this is all over. When this is all over. When this is all over. What are you going to do? Going to a concert, to school, having dinner with friends. Take better care of each other. Support local shops and stores. Offering more help to others. This should be over soon. We've got happy birthday wishes going out today to Jose Mata, Lois Robinson, Josie Perez, Stephen Shari, Jenny Egder, Kathy Valenzuela, Carmen Encinas, Yolanda Solorzano, Manuel Garibay, Rick Scott, Cassie Blackstone, Joe Escalera, John Grass, Ashley Robles, Ernest Zabala, Oliver Popejoy, Spike Duflock, Darlene Powers, Liana Silva, Zara Holmes, Leah Dorner, and Annie Shari. Happy birthday happy, from KXO. Birthday. Yes. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday to everybody on our list. Happy birthday. <sighs> and uh, welcome back to the uh, Imperial County Strike Team. Uh, they came back over the weekend uh, because they were replaced with uh, new, fresh firefighters. Well, they had been gone for a good while. About two, two to three weeks, yeah. Oh, I thought it was even longer than that. And uh, they just rotated personnel. So uh, the uh, Imperial Valley is still part of the uh, fight against the fires. Uh, rotating personnel is kind of like Sybil's uh, rotating personalities. In some way, yeah. yes. Yeah. yeah. Here's what you're going to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll trade you one left-handed uh, engineer for a right-handed, uh, yeah, 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 it works out. How oh, well. Uh, we've got news. Are you ready? We're ready. Okay, it's time for a look at World in California news headlines. Brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist. For sales, for service, you call the experts at Lock Air Conditioning. News special report. President Trump blasts China over COVID at the U.N. General Assembly. We must hold accountable the nation which unleashed this plague onto the world. The president delivering that pre-taped address minutes ago to a virtual meeting of the U.N. General Assembly. We're once again engaged in a great global struggle. We have waged a fierce battle against the invisible enemy, the China virus which has claimed countless lives in 188 countries. Claiming a COVID cover-up conspiracy. The Chinese government and the World Health Organization, which is virtually controlled by China, falsely declared that there was no evidence of human-to-human -human transmission. This as the U.S. prepares to see its 200,000th COVID death, the highest toll in the world. 6.8 million confirmed U.S. cases worldwide, nearly a million deaths. CBS News Special Report. I'm Vicki Barker. 
Whatever the weather brings this summer, you can rely on a York Affinity Premium System to keep your home cool and comfortable. You'll get maximum efficiency thanks to advanced technology and helping to significantly reduce your energy bill. Plus, you can stay connected via our Wi-Fi enabled touchscreen thermostat. Yeah, every York unit is designed, engineered, and assembled in the United States and backed by industry-leading warranties and affordable financing options are available. Call Lock Air Conditioning, your local York dealer, 760-353-4501. That's 353-4501 to schedule a free evaluation of your system. Contractor's license 696 21 California Headline News. What has been the worst fire season in California history could get even worse. 17 out of our top 20 most destructive fires in California history all started in the month of September moving forward. So we haven't experienced the high winds that we're expecting with the Santa Anas, which we know will come towards the later part of the year. Sky Cornell with L.A. County Fire near the site of the Bobcat Fire, which has burned 106,000 acres, 13% containment in the San Gabriel Mountains. Mount Wilson Observatory still threatened. Wildfire smoke from the West Coast has reached as far as Europe. With word that the State Employment Development Department won't be processing new claims for two weeks to catch up and tackle fraud, Republican Assemblyman Jim Patterson says he's not surprised. This has been a, a huge failure, and now we're in a fire drill. And I think the question is whether or not the fire drill uh, creates opportunities to move forward. Talk show host Ellen DeGeneres telling her audience Monday necessary changes have been made to address the so-called toxic atmosphere behind the scenes of the Ellen Show. Jeff Scott, California News. World in California News headlines brought to you this morning by Lock Air Conditioning, your year-round comfort specialist for air conditioning and sheet metal needs. Call Lock Air Conditioning today. Oh, 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 O'Reilly. Oh, O'Reilly Auto Parts has what you need to keep your engine performing at its best. Our professional parts people will help you select just the right products for your car and budget, like five parts of Castrol GTX Conventional or High Mileage Motor Oil and a MicroGuard filter, just $28.99. Plus, earn double O rewards points. Stop by O'Reilly Auto Parts today. O, 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 O'Reilly Auto Parts. When you get your flu shot at Walgreens, you don't just leave with a bandage. You leave with a badge of honor. Because it means you don't just help protect yourself. You fight for the safety of the ones you love. It proves you'll do no matter what for those who matter most. Get your free flu shot with most insurance today at Walgreens. And get a $5 coupon off same-day purchases of $20. Be a flu fighter. Defend your crew against the flu. Walgreens. Not valid in Arkansas, New Jersey, or New York. See coupon for restrictions. Vaccine subject to availability. And it's page one of the local news. Page one is service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers. They have two locations in the valley. In the Brawley Auto Center, Highway 86 in Julia Drive. And on Imperial Avenue next to Food for Less in El Centro. Taking a look at the latest in local news for a Tuesday morning. We received a Monday update. It was released just after 10 a.m. yesterday. The update was released by the County uh, Department of Public Health. According to the latest update, there have been 314 deaths as a result of COVID-19 in Imperial County. Since the outbreak began, there have been 66,805 patients test for the virus. 11,583 have tested positive. 10,958 have recovered. There are currently 312 active cases of COVID-19 in Imperial County. Well, a crop duster crashes. It happened on Saturday. The plane uh, had just taken off in South uh, Yuma County. The crop duster went down in an orchard near the West Main Canal. Yuma Fire was able to extinguish the fire. The pilot of the crop duster told firefighters the plane was not gaining lift, so he bailed out. The pilot was not injured, if you can believe that, in the incident. The cause of the crash is under investigation. KXO News Time, 742. El Centro Motors Supergroup is hiring. Join the best, the fastest growing new car dealership group in Southern California. El Centro Motors Super Center is hiring service writers, skilled service technicians, and loop techs. Multiple positions available at El Centro Motors, Imperial Valley Volkswagen, and Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in El Centro and Brawley. Apply online, ElCentroMotors.com. El Centro Motors is an equal opportunity employer. 
Well, the Calexico police arrest two. Here's more in this story. They are suspected in the theft of a taxi. Cab was taken at gunpoint in Brawley. It was driven to Calexico. Calexico police found the taxi Friday. Saturday morning, the police said they had two suspects in custody. Both suspects were 17-year-old juveniles. They have not released any further details. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. America's borders with Canada and Mexico will remain closed through October 21st. Acting Secretary of the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf, announced uh, the news Friday in a tweet. We continue to work with our Canadian and Mexican partners to slow the spread of COVID-19, he wrote. Accordingly, we have uh, agreed to extend the limitation of non-essential travel at our shared land ports of entry through October 21st. Can Canada's uh, Minister of Public Safety and Emergency Preparedness, Bill Blair, also shared the news on the social media platform saying, we will continue to base our decisions on the best public health advice available to keep Canada's and the Canadians safe. The Twitter account for uh, Mexico's uh, Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Marcelo Ibar, uh, confirmed the news before Wolf on Thursday. That concludes this edition of Local News. Stay with us for page two. Page one of the local news, a service of Quick Lane Tire and Auto Centers in Brawley and El Centro. Quick Lane, they service all makes and all models, and you never need an appointment. What's that? You want crispy McDonald's chicken McNuggets? And what's that? You want them spicy? Breaded in tempura made with cayenne and served up with new mighty hot sauce? Well, you got it. Introducing new spicy chicken McNuggets. Now, what are you going to do about it? Welcome to McDonald's. Can I take your order? You have made a wise decision. For a limited time at participating McDonald's. Page two of the local news and weather brought to you this morning by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for health insurance plans and Medicare supplemental coverage. David H. West Insurance Services. Continuing with more local news, uh, Imperial Irrigation District uh, will hold a meeting today. George Gale explains. The Board of Directors are meeting today. The uh, public session begins at 1 this afternoon. Because of the current pandemic protocols and guidance, the uh, board will be meeting with staff. They suggest the public view the meeting via live stream. Live stream is available uh, from the IID website. A board uh, this afternoon will receive on-farm conservation payment updates. Uh, most of the action agenda consists of work authorizations and contract amendments. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. County road closure, a Forrester Road from Keystone to Worthington Road. They, that closure will last through September the 25th. Traffic will be detoured down Austin Road. The reason for the closure through the 25th is road overlay. And it's about time. What, that it got overlaid? Oh, yeah, that's really, really rough through there. Lots of trucks go through there. Exactly. That makes it tough. In other local news, uh, it is Child Passenger Safety Week. Here's more on this story. It is underway this week. California Highway Patrol is partnering with the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration to promote this special week. CHP says vehicle crashes are the uh, leading cause of death uh, for children 13 and under. California law requires all children 8 years of age and younger to be restrained in a child safety seat. During the uh, week, CHP is offering safety seat installation assistance and inspections. The event will be held this weekend. Contact the uh, local CHP for more information and to make a reservation. For KXO Local News, I'm George Gale. Brawley City Council will meet tonight for a regular scheduled meeting. Uh, the uh, meeting will be underway at 6 p.m. Also, uh, the City of Calipatria's Council will meet this evening in City Hall at uh, 6 p.m. We'll be back with a look at the weather. 
David H. West Insurance has been helping residents in Imperial Valley for many years with their insurance needs. David, Jose, and staff are trained professionals who can help you make the right decision with your insurance coverage from health, Medicare, and most importantly, a life insurance plan. How much life insurance do you need and what's your monthly cost? We'll call David H. West Insurance today to make an appointment and get a free quote on a life insurance plan that's right for you and your family at 760-352-3411. That's 352-3411. Here's Carol Buckley with the weather update. According to the National Weather Service, dry conditions continue for the rest of this week and into the weekend. High temperatures will fluctuate slightly day to day, but remain several degrees above normal. Even warmer and possibly record level temperatures are becoming more likely by the end of the weekend and early next week as strong high pressure builds across the western U.S. 106 the high yesterday, 73 the low. Today's sunny with a high near 104, light winds, widespread haze this afternoon. Clear tonight with a low around 75, west-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Wednesday will be sunny with a high near 104, west wind about 5 miles an hour, then becoming calm. Right now downtown, 80 degrees, 54% our relative humidity, the wind is calm. And uh, your border weight, well, part of it depends on who you're going to ask. <laughs> yes. Okay, um, officially, well, it's one thing, and uh, for people waiting in line, yeah, it's kind of something totally different. Uh, downtown Calexico, they tell me it's about an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, that's the government point of view. Um, people in line say it's closer to three hours. At about 10 minutes at the uh, Century Lane, 45 minutes pedestrian. Eastport. They say 40 minutes there, no waiting sentry, 40 minutes at uh, the ready lane. Yeah, that's what they say. Uh, that's it for page two of the local news. Page two and the weather brought to you this morning by David H. West Insurance Services. See David or Jose for life insurance, health insurance, or retirement planning. There's no better time than right now to buy a new Volkswagen. Imperial Valley Volkswagen has their best selection of brand new Volkswagen ever. And right now, take advantage of 0% financing for 72 months on most new VW models. Hi, this is Ralph Elgensar at Imperial Valley Volkswagen. She's a brand new Jetta, Passat, or the all new Arteon. There's SUVs too, the Tiguan, the Atlas, and the Atlas Crossport. Our selection has never been better. Prices are rock bottom. We'll pay top dollar for your trade-in, and our service is second to none. 0% financing for highly qualified customers through Volkswagen Credit. Not all buyers will qualify. Save now on the Volkswagen of your dreams. It's that easy at Imperial Valley Volkswagen. Highway 86 and Aiton Road in Imperial. It's sports time and NFL Monday Night Football. Yeah, the Silver and Black inaugurated Allegiant Stadium by defeating the New Orleans Saints 34-24. Drew Brees, after the game, said, Hey, you know, I'm not in decline. We were just out of sync. Makes sense. Meanwhile, the NFL fined three head coaches, Denver's Vic Fangio, Seattle's Pete Carroll, and San Francisco's Kyle Shanahan $100,000 each for not wearing masks Sunday. Yeah. In addition, the league fined each coach's team $250,000. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it jump change to those guys. Okay, and uh, in the bubble, the NBA action continues. The West Finals tonight, the Lakers and the Nuggets. Lakers lead that series two games to none. High school football returns to KXO. We will have classic high school football games every Friday night on AM 1230 and on the KXO YouTube channel. Our broadcast features some of the very best games from the KXO archives. Classic high school football. Let's play some football. 
is brought to you by the Committee to Elect Jason Jackson, El Centro City Council 2020, La Fonda Bar and Grill, the Camacho family, taking pride in serving your favorite Mexican dishes, El Centro RV Service, keep your RV or trailer in tip-top shape, El Centro RV Service. And this Friday night, Imperial Central from uh, 2011. That means Royce Freeman on the field. We've got game at 7 o'clock Friday night. Major League Baseball, the Angels tap the Rangers 8-5. to five. Nationals uh, beat up on the Phillies 5-1. to one. Indians, uh, they, uh, well, the White Sox don't care. They're in the playoffs. So the Indians beat them anyway 7-4. to four. Blue Jays powered up and uh, topped the Yankees 11 to 5. Reds over the Brewers 6 to 3. Cubs blanked the Pirates 5 nothing. Braves edged the Marlins 5-4. Rays uh, slipped by the Mets 2 to 1. Royals uh, roared. They uh, beat the Cardinals 4 to 1. Mariners over the Astros 6 to 1. The Rockies 7, the Giants 2. And, uh, well, it uh, continues. Major League Baseball, there's only a week left. And then a convoluted playoff system guaranteed to make Major League Baseball money. Meanwhile, uh, Denny Hamlin has joined Charlotte Horner, Hornets owner Michael Jordan to form a NASCAR team with Bubba Wallace as the driver marking a high-profile pairing of a black majority team owner and the only black driver at NASCAR's top level. That's it for Sports Time. Yeah, stick around. We've got uh, financial news coming up. Let's talk about it. Bringing community mental health issues to your radio. Listen each Sunday morning to KXO AM 1230 at 7 a.m. And now on Sunday evening at 7 p.m. on FM 107.5. Or log on to KXORadio.com for a five-minute podcast highlight of the show or the show in its entirety. This program is produced by the Public Affairs Department of KXO AM 1230 and FM 107.5. Let's Talk About It is presented as a public service of Imperial County Behavioral Health Services. Financial news and weather brought to you by Imperial Valley's Roto-Rooter. When drains don't work, they do. Well, Tesla shares down as uh, Elon Musk, you know, hits Twitter again and uh, downplays his battery day expectations. Stocks are struggling to maintain altitude after opening with modest gains today following a volatile session that saw stocks fall off on worries about renewed coronavirus lockdowns in Europe and rising political uncertainty in the U.S. The Dow Jones Industrial Average right now off 36 points at 27,111. The uh, S&P 500 up five at 3,286. The NASDAQ up 10 at 10,792. Gold is neutral, oil is up 15 cents a barrel. Rising COVID-19 cases and the threat of renewed lockdowns in Europe, along with increasing doubts over the prospects for congressional Democrats and the White House to come to an agreement on additional aid, a prospect complicated by the looming battle over a nominee to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who died Friday on the Supreme Court, were blamed in part for the Monday sell-off and uh, have remained a cloud over the markets today. Yesterday's sell-off, the pre unlike the previous week's tech-led slide, was paced by value stocks such as industrials, energy, and financials, according to market analysts. Meanwhile, Peloton's stock has pulled back a bit from record highs after Amazon unveils exclusive Echelon Smart Connect fitness bikes. And Amazon upgraded as analysts forecast the e-commerce giant staying power even after shoppers return to stores. 
Roto-Rooter, your plumbing and drain cleaning specialists. Roto-Rooter offers full services from hydro jetting to camera inspection, water heaters, faucets, garbage disposals, anything that's clogged up. They'll take care of the problem right. Roto-Rooter is a locally owned family business with 53 years in the Imperial Valley. Call the experts at 760-352-6789. That's 352-6789 or 344-2533 in the North End. Roto-Rooter, when drains don't work, we do. It will be sunny today with a high near 104, widespread haze, especially in the afternoon hours. Light winds will turn out of the west-southwest about 5 miles an hour this afternoon. Clear tonight with a low around 75, west-northwest wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Wednesday, sunny with a high near 104, west wind about 5 miles an hour. We have 80 degrees downtown, 53% relative humidity. The wind right now is calm. And uh, coming up, we'll uh, do our best to update your border wait times. Financial news and the weather brought to you this morning by Roto Rooter in El Centro and Brawley. When drains don't work, they do. When you live in a place that has everything, you need the truck that can handle anything. The Ford F-150. Want to haul a camper for the weekend? The Ford F-150's available blind spot information system with trailer coverage can help you see where most can. Want to get out on the water? The Ford F-150 has available pro trailer backup assist to get your boat down the ramp on the first try. And if you want Wi-Fi wherever you're headed, the F-150 has available Ford Pass Connect so you can work and play from anywhere. And for a limited time, you can get a 2020 Ford F-150 XLT with $7,000 total cash off. Offer valid on 2020 F-150 XLT. Total cash includes $6,250 retail customer cash and $750 VIN-specific inventory retail cash. Vehicles eligible for VIN-specific cash must have arrived at dealership at least 61 days prior to sale. Supplies limited. Residency restrictions apply. Offer ends 9-30-2020. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Explore the Ford F-150 at buyfordnow.com and visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer to drive one. CBS News just ahead. Local news when and where it happens on AM 1230. The best oldies on the radio. KXO El Centro on AM 1230. KXO. On the hour. Presented by Capital One Bank. I'm Peter King in Orlando. Utah Republican Mitt Romney has sided against the president in the past, but now he's taking Mr. Trump's side, saying he supports a Senate vote for Ruth Bader Ginsburg's successor whenever it comes to the Senate floor. And he says he'll vote based on the nominee's qualifications. Earlier, Texas Senator Ted Cruz told CBS this morning he was confident about it. I believe we have the votes. I don't know for sure, but I, I believe we do. And I think it's critically important that we vote before Election Day. Minority Leader Chuck Schumer says he doesn't buy that. By every modicum of decency and honor, Leader McConnell and the Republican Senate majority have no right to fill it. No right. The Democrats need four Republicans to side with them to say they will. Romney's statement this morning brings a vote closer to being a done deal. The president says he will announce a nominee on Saturday. The U.S. is within 100 COVID-19 deaths of 200,000. 20,000 flags cover the National Mall in Washington as a memorial to those who've died. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi spoke there this morning. This was preventable. Not all of it, but much of it. And what could be lost in the future is preventable, too if we embrace science. During a video address to the U.N. General Assembly, President Trump has placed the blame. We must hold accountable the nation which unleashed this plague onto the world, China. Democrat Mike Bloomberg has helped raise more than $20 million to help released Florida felons pay court costs, fines, and restitution so they can regain their right to vote. Florida Republicans enacted that law after voters overwhelmingly approved restoration without condition two years ago. The Louisville Police Department has canceled days off and vacation requests while ramping up security. It's all in anticipation of the state attorney general's announcement on whether or not he'll charge officers in the Breonna Taylor shooting case. Interim Chief Robert Schroeder. Quite frankly, I hope, we hope that all of this 
is simply not needed, that it will be a peaceful situation. Lee shot and killed Taylor during a raid on the wrong home on March 13th. The city settled a $12 million lawsuit with Taylor's family. The weather radar shows a lot of green and yellow over Houston and southeast Texas. Tropical Storm Beta is raining down hard. CBS News meteorologist David Parkinson. We're closing in on 10 inches in some spots. And the models are projecting we could see another half foot of rain, maybe even a little bit more in spots in the Houston metro area. On Wall Street, the Dow is down 135 points. The NASDAQ is up a couple. This is CBS News. Brought to you by Capital One. Capital One's banking app lets you manage your money anytime, anywhere. This is banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Capital One N.A. Under the Hood, sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts. Despite the pandemic, it was a good summer for car sales. Here's auto expert Jeff Gilbert. April and May were a challenge, says Detroit area dealer Thad Sott. Then things changed in June. But the pace of business was just almost at, at a frenzy. It was wild. Think O'Reilly Auto Parts for all your car care needs. Get guaranteed low prices and excellent customer service at O'Reilly Auto Parts. Better parts, better prices every day. And now a game of Commercial Chicken, brought to you by Progressive, where we see how long Flo can go without talking about insurance. Ready? Go. So, um, have you noticed how everyone's grammar is completely awful now? Like, you know, the texting and the LOLs. <laughs> Whatever happened to punctuation? I mean, drivers who switch to Progressive because they big. Okay, you win. We can't help but save customers money. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. You've probably heard the phrase herd immunity a lot lately when it comes to fighting COVID-19. CBS's Vicki Barker reports that it seems to have worked in one country. It isn't definitive, but evidence is mounting that Sweden has beaten the coronavirus pandemic using herd immunity rather than lockdowns. The infection rate in France is now almost seven times higher than in Sweden, which has 28 cases per 100,000 people. In comparison, the U.S. rate is 62 cases per 100,000 citizens. How did Sweden and do it by trusting its own citizens to practice social distancing and to wear masks. Vicki Barker, CBS News, London. In Madison, the University of Wisconsin Chancellor says the county executive needs to stop telling her to shut down the campus and start cracking down on large student gatherings outside the campus. She says she's not moving classes online despite student infections that are spiking the county's numbers. Peter King, CBS News. <laughs> And now, more of the best oldies on the radio with Carol Buckley. Yeah, for some reason or another, you sound a little taller on radio. <laughs> AM 1230 KXO. 1230. 